So if you've sprained your ankle in the past, whether it's a recent sprain, a, a chronically damaged uh, ankle, or a one that you keep um, spraining all the time, it's a really bad sign. It can affect everything, even uh, jaw position, tailbone position, all sorts of stuff. If you've got an ankle that hasn't been fully rehabbed after a sprain, there's three levels of sprains too. Uh, most people just sprain with level one or two, uh, level one, or grade one or two. Uh, grade three is where there's a full rupture, and you, you definitely know about it. Um, so the one mechanism that needs to be trained is the glute reflex. So that's why when you, you're rehabbing your ankle, you need to get right to the end of the rehab. And the end of the rehab is where you're doing hopping, hopping on the spot, turning and keeping balance, that sort of stuff. So you're getting the proprioception back in the joint. The proprioception is doing with joint receptors that know where your joints are in space without you having to visually know where you are. So there's three types of, of receptors, how we know where we are in space. One's the vision, other one's the somato um, vestibular receptors in the inner ear, tells us where we are, so that sort of balance. And other one's the joint receptors. So if you were to, to wait to test it, as you go here, yeah, it's pretty good, that's fine. There might be a wobble, might be no balance, and also people have literally zero balance when in this position. That's, that needs to be trained, and it can be trained really fast too, by challenging your balance. Um, and then the other way you can test it is then when you're here, close your eyes and what it does is more blocking that happens in the system some people as soon as they close their eyes they fall over because their their their, um, their balance system is based purely on vision it's not good so you can train all the three systems the big ones to amplify is the proprioception so that's training the joints when they're in space especially after ankle injury because the body the overstretching of the ligament or the damage of the ligament gives that delayed feedback about where the joint is in space so you can be walking along or running along all of a sudden the ankle sprains this way, that's a, a usual sprain out here. Uh, and then the body doesn't register that that's doing that motion until right at the end and you have a worse sprain. And then repeated sprain become a very problematic um, issue with ankles where there's chronic pain all the time. What should happen when the, if the ankle does start to roll, the glute here should kick, kick, on, could kick off to help bring the body back over to the center line. So if this is weak here, the body just rolls and then the hip just does this, this kind of thing here. So it should be able to kick the body back onto the center, which helps the ankle um, recover its position. There's a lot of exercises you can do. And one is one really easy one that trains the whole line, including the um, perineal muscle and ligaments, the joint position, plus also the strength of the gluteus medius, um, the obliques as well, it's just a side plank and you can do it this way. So this side you can do, um, make sure you do this with this with the bottom ankle that you can do this um, eversion movement with the foot. So I'm pulling my foot up a little bit so as if I was scooping my sole of my foot to the window here, which means that this muscle here is activated. So uh, we don't want to have any pain when we do this though. So I'm gonna do it with my bottom foot, I'm sort of curling the foot inwards, stacking both feet on each other, I'm gonna push up, so I have one line through my body, through the, um, the leg, waist, torso, the head also. Chin pulled in a little bit, but not here, not here, not doing this. Pelvis is tucked under a little bit, so I'm not arching my back while I do it. And I'm pushing through my shoulder, so I'm not coming down like this. So I actually push through the shoulder this way. And holding that for the time. You can stack the ankles by doing this too, and it'll get this adductor working for you too. So you can hold that as a static position. You can play with arm positions. This will put perturbation into the system. Or you can also do up and down motions with the hips. And you'll feel it in the obliques and later the glutes and the perineal at the same time. Another really easy exercises to add while you're just doing your daily life is walking on your heels. There should be no pain with this. So you're walking on your heels forwards, backwards, find a hallway in your house when you go down that hallway walking on the heels, strengthens tibialis and anterior um, and the perineals. It just helps that position to be stronger, the brain to read that. And then this is the more tricky one. There's a sprained ankle, it's usually weak in this position. You don't want to roll out like that and want to, want to sprain again. So we want to strengthen the, the uh, muscles in that position. So you're up on, on tippy toes and walking like you're on high heels. And you're aiming to keep that height. And you're just walking down the hallway doing that too. Another one you can do is lean against uh, a, um, a wall. 
just leaning against the hill here. The pelvis a little bit tucked under. Your feet are about your own foot length away from the wall. And you're just pulling up, doing tibial, tibialis anterior raises here. And you'll get really fried through here. There should be no pain at all when you do this. If you're looking at two to four sets to fatigue, probably around about eight to 10, going up to about 20 each set.